excited today we're going to learn how to add plastic wrap effect to our photos this technique is so fun and amazing so if you're ready let's get going I'm Mary and this is Resource Boy channel. Welcome so, so much. I promise you're going to have so much fun in this video. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get started. Just before we start, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on our new videos. So to get started from the link in the description, uh, you just need to download our completely free plastic wrap textures from Resource Boy. It's a full treasure, honestly and it has an amazing 4K quality we have 120 plastic um, effects in all different models each one of these plastics have been scanned by hand one by one and ready for you to use in the fastest and easiest way possible uh so i have four photos ready in my photoshop right here for you and on each one of these um photos i'm going to try a few of these plastic effects so you see how easy it is to work with them so our plastics are already in two different versions of jpg and png they don't make any difference uh which version you use you can use jpg png i'm going to use both so you see how it's used they have a very very little difference which i'm going to tell you uh so to get started i'm going to uh select one plastic effect from our first photo i'm going to choose this one bring it right here we drag it here minimize it make it smaller and as easy as you see our effect and plastic texture is applied to our photo so um, if i want my um, effect to be exactly inside the frame of our photo i just need to um, clip it to my photo we could select create clipping mask from uh, this section right here and as you see it's exactly inside the frame of my photo and it's not sticking out from any edges but still if you wanted to stick out a little you can um untick um this setting which it can be interesting as well so we have our next photo right here again i'm going to choose one other texture uh, i think i'm going to go with this one and we we'll use the jpg version so you can see that little difference that i told you earlier on so we minimize it, um, place it right on the photo. As you see, it's covered all of my photo and the background doesn't show. So you just need to set this mode to screen and that's it. As you see, it's completely transparent and you can see the background right now. And uh, the difference that it has is that you can have a little more uh, control on the JPG version. For instance, if you press control L uh, on your texture, the levels uh, window opens right here, which uh, by adjusting the amounts in the levels window, you can uh, give a little um, control and have more control on your plastic effect. So um, if you add a little blur filter to your photo, it can give it a more realistic feel. I'm going to select my photo, uh, blur and uh, Gaussian blur. If I increase this amount, as you see, our a photo is a little bit more realistic. Why? Because um, if a real a photo is wrapped around plastic, it's not so a transparent it's a little more blurry and it doesn't have as much as sharpness that a normal photo has so that's why i suggest you to add this blur to your photo to have a more realistic feel so let's go to the next photo one more time i'm going to use a, a plastic effect this time i'm going to go with a ripped plastic to see how it looks for instance this one i drag it to my work as we did before we rotate it right here and place it here and i think it's excellent here you can place it wherever you want absolutely beautiful so i'm going to choose one more for instance i think this one's amazing so we just minimize it and place it right here and that's it i can also uh, clip it inside my photo just like this you can also combine your plastic effects together and drag them here you can get copies of it with the alt button and create a fantastic image just like this so uh, one more time we're going to uh, select one more of our plastic effects uh, i'm going to go with this one minimize it just here yeah i think it's perfect uh, make it the size of my photo and set it on the uh 
screen mode and as easy as you saw was able to apply this effect to my photo we press ctrl l one more time uh play around with these amounts and units and give a little more transparency and have a complete control on our photo and customize it so here we go with this video i hope you enjoyed watching it so much if you like this video please uh, support us, like the video, give us energy, share it with your friends. We have so many amazing videos which we are going to uh, upload on our channel soon. So don't forget to check out resourceboy.com. We have so many free products which you can use in your different projects. Bye to our next video.